If you're considering building a new home, save this video. I've got some great advice that's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of frustration by following some tips that I've learned from things I've learned over the last few years as a real estate agent about new construction. Now, I'm Russ Gray. I'm a real estate agent here in Tulsa with Keller Williams. I've been very lucky to represent multiple clients in regards to building new homes, but I've also built two myself. And I can tell you there's some things I've learned about the process that you need to know to help save you a lot of frustration as you go through the process. Make sure to click the links below. There's going to be some additional information there. You can connect with me on any of my platforms. You can also go to my real estate website to do home searches, see if you can find anything that really stands out to you. If you have questions about anything, um, you can reach out to me through that link system as well too. And that's just another way to connect with me to get more information or find answers, especially if you're looking in the Tulsa area for a home. So let's start off with item number five. We're going to go ahead and count it down backwards. So number five item to know about building a house in Tulsa or really anywhere, first thing I would tell you to do is always make sure that you talk with and get to know multiple builders and see multiple different options. Every builder is not the same. A lot of them use different contractors through the whole process and every single one of them has a different level of quality that they provide at the end of the day. So making sure that you talk with several different builders through the entire process before you start is a really good thing to do. Number four, get to know the floor plans, get an understanding where all of your outlets, utilities, everything are gonna run. Um, this alone is gonna save you a lot of frustration because if you discover or decide that you need to add additional outlets, run data lines, anything of that nature, you're gonna find out really quick in the process and that's gonna help save you some time and money as well. Uh, making sure that you don't have to drop lines later, you can get it done while the house is being built, usually drop another data line or additional outlets not super expensive to do and it's worth it just to, just to get it done before you get too far along in the build process number three verify and ask a lot of questions builders actually don't mind if you have a lot of questions because they know not everybody does this every day uh, for most folks building a house is a one-time deal they do it once and they've never they never build another house again or it's the only way they go from there on out but trust and make sure you verify information in regards to the build and construction of the house that you're looking at if you have questions about things ask. Um, one of the things I'll tell you right off the bat that we went through on one of our construction projects is this thing right here. We didn't know that, that was an upgrade when we were doing it. Neither did our sales rep because there was a change in the way the design was made for the home. And so when we got along to where the house had been framed out and the roof line had been decked, we discovered that this peak at the back of the house was missing. We asked some questions. It did cost us a good bit of money because they had to redo everything, rip off a bunch of stuff and reframe a lot of the house in that roofing area just to be able to add that on there. Had we had known that ahead of time, it would have saved us a lot of money at that end as well too. So ask questions, verify if there's design features or things that you really need or really want or you have questions about with the house, ask and verify that they're going to be part of the process, part of the build, or if there's any changes that you need to be aware of, especially if you're looking at a model home before you sign the contract. Number two, don't be afraid to come visit your house while it's under construction. Now, verify with the builder when and what rules they have for you if you're going to go by and take a look at your build while it's going on. Just to make sure you don't put yourself in a position where you interrupt or cause issues with the contractors that are there working. But going by, verifying, looking at the house, making sure everything looks good, everything's as you had planned for it to be, is going to save you a lot of frustration because you can catch stuff early enough, it's a lot cheaper to fix, or you're going to be happier because you discover that problem or something that's maybe not so much of a problem, but something that you thought was going to be part of the deal and you can get it fixed earlier versus finding out later that something was missed. And the number one thing I'll tell you that really makes a difference when it comes down to the, the process of building a house is get to know what builders will allow you to make some changes and make adjustments to design features or even at making solid additions. There's a lot of builders right now that some of them since the start of COVID, they're not really allowing for 
a lot of custom work inside the homes in regards to making some changes or upgrades or usually just saying here's the package we're giving you and good luck um some of them even have you on a waiting list and they'll tell you this is the house we have available do you like it yes or no if you say no they move you to the bottom of the list and they go down the list until they find somebody that wants to buy that house that they've specced out a lot of them are just doing it that way so if you can find a builder that still does a little bit of custom work and will let you have some options and say and where things are going and what you can do, those builders are going to give you a much better experience all the way around. For additional information or any questions you might have, feel free to comment below or send me a message directly. You can also click the link in the description below. That'll take you to an access point where you can get to all of my social medias and you can reach out to me there as well. For additional videos, feel free to check out the channel for more information in regards to real estate and real estate tips around the Tulsa area and a few quick treats about what's cool and what's fun to do around Tulsa. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.